Hello. Welcome to your weather for the week ahead from the Met Office. Compared to last week, this week will be much less dramatic. It won't be as windy, it won't be as wet, which is good news. And, well, this time of year, when the weather's calm, that can lead to some chilly nights and some fog around as well. When we have this kind of headline, you often know that high pressure is in control across the UK. It's not there all week, though. We do have this weather front that pushes through during Tuesday and may just linger in parts of the southwest on Wednesday. But then behind that, another area of high pressure takes control and dominates things for the second half of the week. Let's rewind, though, because we do have that weather front to contend with, first of all. On Tuesday, it'll bring a very different day across the northwest. We'll see cloud increasing across western Scotland, Northern Ireland, outbreaks of rain pushing in. Elsewhere, it could start quite murky. Some fog patches around, which could take a while to clear. And so overall, although there'll be a fair bit of cloud, we'll see some dry and bright weather. And it will still be pretty warm, where we see some sunshine across East Anglia and the southeast. Temperatures could easily get up into the high teens or even low 20s, whereas it's much cooler for the north and west with that thicker cloud as that weather front bringing the cloud and rain pushes in. And it will continue to trickle southwards during Tuesday, eventually bringing some rain across northwest England, western fringes of Wales, and into South Wales as well, where, of course, we had the flooding at the weekend. But the rain uh, through Tuesday evening won't be anything like as heavy as it was over the course of the weekend. That band of cloud then and rain, which is fizzling out, is that cold front, which continues to track across the UK as we go through Tuesday night. It kind of fizzles out, but it might just pep up a little bit across the southwest. There's a link between those two weather fronts, and that's some uncertainty about Wednesday, how much cloud and rain there's just left lingering across the southwest and possibly a little bit further east as well. But for most, Wednesday will be dry and fine. A few scattered showers in the northwest, but uh, generally it'll be bright enough come the afternoon once any early morning mist and fog has cleared away, with temperatures getting to around about average mid-teens generally. Now, it will turn pretty chilly as we go through Wednesday night into Thursday morning, particularly across the heart of the UK, where the winds are light, and there will also be, it looks like, some fog patches, especially across the north. Further south, well, maybe some low cloud, and there's a bit of a breeze blowing here that helps to keep the temperatures up overnight. It may just be still the dregs of that weather from bringing the old spot of drizzly rain. Maybe the odd shower in the northwest, but for most, Thursday is dry. The fog could take a while to clear. It's getting to that time of year, but assuming it does, things brighten up, temperatures again getting into the teens in most places. By the time we get to Thursday night, that high pressure starts to edge its way a little bit further south. It means the winds across the south will be lighter on Friday morning, so a greater chance of seeing some fog, whereas further north we just start to have Signs of a change, with weather fronts starting to push their way towards the northwest. The first one will bring some rain here, it looks like, on Friday. But again, most places dry on Friday. We'll have a greater risk of fog, and it will be a colder start across the south on Friday. But again, most places will be dry and fine, and um, sunny spells for much of the afternoon. But notice those weather fronts starting to push some more cloud and rain towards the northwest. And that is how we're set up really into the weekend, with more northern parts of the UK looking breezier, also looking quite a bit warmer. Temperatures could really jump up. There'll be some sunshine, but also expect a few showery outbreaks of rain. Whereas in the south, high pressure will hold on, it looks like, this weekend, keeping things largely dry with sunny spells. But there will be increasing likelihood of morning fog. As always, stay tuned to the forecast. Things can always change by the time we get to the weekend, certainly. Always more updates on the Met Office website or follow us on social media.